Hi, welcome to today's video. My name is Paul. Today I'm doing a charcoal landscape drawing or sketch. You can see the materials I'm using here. It's vine charcoal, a little piece of white Conte pasta. Uh, there's also a bit of kneadable eraser. Uh, the paper that I'm using, nothing special. It's just a sketchbook. Um, it is a slightly gray toned paper and the sketchbook is by Arteza. Um, Arteza products, I've used a few of them in the past. They tend to be reasonably priced, which of course is good. Um, the quality is, well, it's sort of middle ground. It's not terrible, but it's not amazing either. And you know, you, the idea that you sort of get what you pay for is often true with art supplies. If you want the top quality art supplies, you probably going to have to pay more for them. Okay, so in addition to watching me trying to draw this, I should say this drawing is done from imagination, um, so I'm not using any references. Therefore, I don't have um, anything to go on in terms of composition, and I didn't really have any thoughts about composition. I just sort of dived in and started putting marks on the paper. So the whole composition kind of um, happens by accident rather than uh, design. Some of the YouTube videos, the art YouTube videos I've been watching recently, um, and one in particular, I'm not going to say who it was by, but it's sort of this idea of should you look at your own art in a, a critical way? Or is that only a negative process and really you shouldn't do that? And in this video, the guy was sort of saying you should be your own best cheerleader, if you like, that the whole process of creating art, and especially if you're trying to make a living as an artist, that's a very difficult thing to do at the best of times. The last thing you need to do is to start criticizing your own abilities and your own artwork. And it is an interesting way of looking at it, and it is one way, but if I understood him correctly, and that's what he was saying, it's not something I agree with. Because I think unless you look at your own artwork in a critical way, you're not really going to improve. You'll probably end up just producing the same things over and over again. You might experiment with different mediums, you might try different things, but in terms of your technical ability, you're going to be limited. I sort of mentioned this before, I think in another video, maybe a slightly strange way of looking at it, but I think of technical ability and creativity as like water flowing along a, a say a plastic pipe. If the plastic pipe is in good condition, um, you can direct the creativity, you can direct the water to wherever you want it to go to. On the other hand, if the plastic pipe is incomplete or it has gaps, holes, cracks, um, your creativity, the water will leak out and you'll not be able to direct it in whatever way you want uh, the creativity to go. So in other words, the plastic pipe is your technical skills and the water flowing along it then is the creativity. And you need both. You need those creatives, uh, you need the creativity, but you also need the, the technical skills. The technical skills are there because they allow you to do then whatever it is that you're trying uh, to achieve. And I think that's where self-criticism can help. Not looking at your art and then comparing it to another artist, especially if that artist is technically far superior to you, if they have more skills and more knowledge, um, that sort of comparison is inevitably going to be a, a disheartening thing, a sort of negative um, experience. But instead, if you can look at it and say, well, okay, these are the problems with my art at the moment. Uh, maybe it is, as I mentioned, composition, or maybe 
am I using charcoal to its full potential? Um, is there something I can learn about using charcoal? Um, something that would give my paintings uh, more interest and make them look more professional. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think that's a very positive way of approaching art. Um, I think as artists, we all want to get better. We want to improve. We want to build on our skills um, to improve the craft aspect of art. Okay, so this is a scan of the final drawing. Like I say, I'm not happy with the composition, but that was my own fault. I should have really sat down and thought, really, what did I want to produce? I want to look at how some other artists use charcoal. Is there anything I can learn from them? Ideas that I can borrow slash steal from them? Some things I do like about the drawing and most of my drawings, they have this I think a sense of depth. There's a definite foreground, there's the trees in the middle ground, and then there's the fields further away. And I think that works. I think I have figured out how to create this sense of depth within a two dimensional um, drawing. Okay, so if I was gonna sum up then, just comparing your artwork, especially to very experienced artists is probably not the best way to go because it could be a negative experience. But if you do it from a point of view of trying to identify things that you can improve on in your own paintings, um, that's a much more positive thing to do, I think. Okay, so hopefully uh, today wasn't too rambly. Maybe I need another cup of coffee or something. Um, if you would like to subscribe, just click on the big red button below and hopefully see you in the next video.